everyone and welcome back to bullet dress designs um today i'm going to be filming part two on how to make the skirt so i haven't decided on which skirt that i will be making uh, but there are two skirts that are commonly used with the bullet taha dress and the first one being the wrap around skirt and the second one is the skirt with an elastic band uh, they both have their pros and cons, but um, they're both still good. With the wraparound skirt, it's good because if you're feeling kind of bloated that day and you just want to loosen it, you can loosen it. Or you can tighten it. The only thing with uh, the wraparound skirt is that you always have to like adjust it and make sure that um, one part is not longer than the other. And then sometimes throughout the day, the knot that you tied is like starting to get loose and then the skirt is kind of hanging. And then you have the elastic band skirt, um, which is good because you can just put it on and don't even have to mess with it and just walk out the door. Uh, the only thing with the elastic band skirt that I don't like is that, I don't know, to me, I just think it just looks cheap. But it's still good. It's still a good choice to use. But yeah, I haven't decided which one of the two skirts that I'm going to be making. I'm thinking that I just might do the elastic one. Just because it's easier for my friend to get in and out of. Anyways, let me go ahead and clear my table. And let's go! Okay, I have so much junk on this table. It's... It's not even a laughing matter right now. Oh, anyways, look what I'm making right now. I am making this um, corset. That's actually my first corset. But today is not about the corset. <laughs> today is about the skirt. So, my measuring tape. Every dang time I'm looking or that measuring tape anyways okay so we have our fabric here already chosen so now we are going to like I said I am going to be doing the elastic band okay, okay. I have my elastic band here and the first thing you're going to do is measure your waist okay I mean, not really your natural waist, but probably go down two to three inches lower than that. So you want to measure at your waist where you want your skirt to sit at. Then, once you have that measured out, cut it and make sure that you can actually fit your hips around that. Okay, so you want to like put it on and then make sure it can go over your big tungaiku. <laughs> okay, sorry. Make sure that it can go around your... <laughs> make sure it goes around your waist, okay? Now we see that it goes nicely around my waist. Go ahead and take it off, and then we can go ahead and sew it. And I'll show you how to sew it together, or it's not going to be bulky. So as you can see, my elastic band is 2 inches. I am obviously not going to be using 2 inches. I'm going to be um, probably just using only an inch. So there we go. Cut just a little square. It can be any fabric. And when you sew these together, you're gonna, most of the time people will sew it right on top of each other and do a right. zigzag, but <clears throat> I don't wanna have that bulk. So instead, I'm just going to lay these two ends on top of this little square fabric that I have here. And then I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch back and forth. Ah! We have it sewn, and as you can see, you can pull on it, and it will not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then you just want to go ahead and... Just trim around it and you have this and this will lay nicely on your waist you don't have to worry about all that bulk I was going to make the elastic skirt and just make a slit in the back 
but I don't know this fabric is a little thin so I'm going to do the wrap around but it's still going to be an elastic so it's two in one <laughs> watching part two on how to make a puleta or puletasi skirt hopefully in my next video i will be able to explain to you all how things are done because i think that everyone should be making their own dresses so thank you guys again for watching please like and subscribe i would really appreciate it thank you very much hope you all have a great one bye bye